What is going on guys? Welcome to your 25th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to show you guys how to extract numbers from strings and also how to use something called character classes which is actually one of the more popular features whenever we talk about regular expressions but anyways let's go ahead and make a simple variable and we'll name it tuna because gotta love tuna and I'll just write something like I have 45 warts and my llama has 62 now this actually is true, but nonetheless, that's not important for this tutorial. Now what we can do is we can use this variable called tuna, which is this sentence right here, and we can run methods on it like scan. Now again, like I said, the first thing I want to do is extract all the numbers from this string. For example, 45, 62, I want to take anything that's a number and pull it out, and let me just go ahead and print it on the screen or something. So scan, the first thing we want to do is we want to scan for a regular expression, a pattern of numbers. Now, the symbol for a digit or a number is base or it's backslash D. Now what this is going to do is it's going to match any digit. However, the problem is whenever we scan a string, Ruby isn't going to know the difference between is this a 4, 5, or is it 45? Well, in order to do that, we need to add another symbol, and that's the plus sign. The plus sign basically means match any number of joining digits. Not only four and then five, since these are together, it's basically writing the same as backslash D, or backslash D, backslash D. It's basically taking any number of digits together and scanning for them. Now, after this, what this is going to do is it's going to scan for all the digits and now we just want to extract them into a variable like uh, I don't know Z first thing I thought of and print it out on the screen so you guys already know what this does so now let's go ahead and see what we got 45 and 62 so basically it doesn't matter if I said I have four warts I have 6821 warts as long as it is any digit any number of digits long any length it will extract it and that's what the plus sign does in the plus sign by the way it doesn't only work with um, numerical digits but you can use this in a wide variety of regular expressions and we'll probably look at that a little bit later on but for now we got something else to cover and that is called character classes now character classes is just basically a fancy term for group now what we can do is instead of scanning for maybe the letter A or maybe the letter F or maybe the number 9 we can group all of these things together and scan for anything inside this group so now let me go ahead and write a string like wow I freaking love beans explanation point why the heck not and now what we want to do is we want to scan but we just don't want to scan for any single thing we want to scan for a group so anytime you're making a group you surround it in square brackets. Now, inside your square brackets, write everything that you want to be in that group. So basically, let's go ahead and scan for the letters A. I'm just going to pick like S and W. A, S, W. They're just like the first three ones I saw. So basically, any time we come across the letters A, S, or W, um, let's just go ahead and keep it simple. Print it out on the screen. So extract those values, store them in variable called Y and print y out on the screen so check it out remember our initial string was wow i freaking love beans by the way i don't i hate beans so anyways what it did is it pulled out w w a a s why is that because in our group was the letters a s and w so first it came across the w then it came across another w then it came across this a right here then it came across this A right here, and last but not least, it came across this S. So anything that was in our group, and we told it it was a group by surrounding it with square brackets, it extracted and printed it out on the screen. Now aside from that, we can also have a group of characters. So instead of A, S, and W, we can make, or did I just say instead of A, S, and W, we can have a group of characters? I uh, if I did then I said that wrong what I meant was instead of just having a bunch of single items in our group we can actually have a range of items so say for example that we wanted to 
include all the letters from A to G. We can write this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, but who the heck wants to type that much? Not me. So anytime you want to work with a range of letters from this, just use the hyphen. A hyphen G. Now this is actually a pretty easy symbol to understand because this is how you would write it in plain English. So basically A to G is short for all the lowercase letters A to G. So instead of just A, S, and W like before, any times it anytime it comes across any letter A to G, it's gonna extract it and print it out on the screen. So check it out. First it came across F E in, I'm not gonna read all the letters to you but just note that all of these letters that it extracted are in the range of A to G anything H and above H does come after G right F C D F G H yep I got it right anything H to Z is not included in this so there you go that is how you make only well I call them groups but they're technically called character classes so if you're writing this on a test or something or writing on an essay make sure to call them character classes and another thing that is how you scan for digits whenever you want to do something like extract the digits from a string of text so anyways like I said I know regular expressions are kinda confusing at first but I'm gonna show you guys probably one more tutorial using regular expressions and it'll probably pound the concept through so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time